All right, it's 99 Let's Jams, go, DJ Nails. Nails. DJ Nails. And our guest right now, the birthday boy, 50 Cent. Is I'm in the here. Building. Legendary. 50 Cent is in the building. I smell money in here, too. Oh, man, we good. We in good shape, man. Yo, is, is this like um, your first time coming to 99 Jams? No. I mean, I've been, I've only been here, I've only been here for what, like six months? Six months. And I know it was a little situation. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. that's why I'm, that's why I'm asking. They always a little funny about me. I don't know why they feel like <laughs> 50 Cent is on the radio right now with them boys. 50, yeah. welcome back to Miami, man. First nah, of man. all, before we even get started, happy birthday. Thank you, man. 39, 39. 39. Feel a little about okay. this. Big bombs. 360. <laughs> 390. This past weekend, I DJed Events 450 and his new vodka, F and Vodka, yesterday and today on South Beach. So you got the F and Vodka. Is is that is that another one of the things you just putting under the belt? Are you endorsing it, or is that your liquor? Uh, it's just, it's a, a, a venture with me and Bing. Okay. You know, so it's like as much as mine is Ciroc is Puffy's. Oh, talk about it. You know, talk about it. Like that. Yeah, we working it out. Speaking speaking of Puffy, man. Yo, I, I follow you on Instagram just so I can laugh at your Instagram <laughs> post. And this situation, when Puff had that happened over at UCLA, yeah, yeah, I saw you posting the, the videos and I'm just falling out laughing. Then you posted another video saying like, yo, listen, I, I, you know, I'm just making fun, especially it's not that it's not that funny yeah. when something serious like this is going on. Yeah. And then two hours later, you post another video. Yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> Look at this look. When, when when you know when it's when it first happens, you go, yo, I'm making fun of it instinctively because I was already making fun of it. Right. And then I thought about it, I said, whoa, they might really be trying to jam him up. Like when I see yeah, him yeah, say yeah. that he was a terrorist, right, yeah, yeah. I said, Whoa, this is going too far now. <laughs> like I said that in the joke yeah. like, on the thing. I was like, this is getting very going a little too far now. He ain't no terrorist. I don't get what he said while they was actually fighting. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like they, for them to take it and write it like he's a right, terrorist. Right, right. Then I was like, hold on, let me pump the brakes because he might actually, they might really be trying to jam him up. Yeah. But then it, it turned into what it usually is. It looks really, really bad mm -hmm. in the beginning. It's like if you do anything where they start to call you a mogul or, or that you establish yourself in business, immediately as something goes left, Wrong. you're a rapper. Yeah. A rip. Rapper, Sean Combs. Rapper, Diddy. Mm -hmm. But what Rapper, I always see too, you know, like, another thing I always see though, like you know, it, it's it, when we get in some trouble, uh -huh. and it's one of us with money. Yeah. Okay. At the end of the day, you still one of us. That's what it seems like with a lot of the situations yeah. that's going on. Yeah. Well, if you feel like you're different. You gonna find out when you get in trouble. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You gonna be right back with the same. They put you right in that box. Look. The hip hop and R and B DJ Nails and Fifty Cent. So off the air, me and 50 and, and Nasty, we just figured out we had something in common. Um, This this song right here, Rico Richie Potter. I like this. I like this a lot. Like, I got good energy. I don't know. It's just something you hear it in the back of your head while you're talking to me. You're like, yeah, yeah. I want to turn up right now. I like this joint. So speaking of turning up, I know you uh, I know you come down here like every blue moon. Uh -huh. But you've been here all weekend. Um, Like Saturday, you had like a dinner or something that you did and a yacht party. And then Sunday, we did the, 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 the liquor event. And um, last night you had the birthday party over on the beach side, and tonight you at KOD. Yeah. Tell me about a fifty party because I know a lot of people know about Diddy parties and all that stuff. Yeah, though, yeah. But tell yeah, me well, about they, a 50 they really party. got a chance to see me party outside of Dreads. You know, like when I went out there. With Chris, That's the one in Vegas, right? Yeah. We went out there. They got a chance to see me rock out there. But like for me, I want to hear everything that's working. Mm -hmm. And then see the room enjoy themselves because that that's the magic of music. Because we condition for it, it may take us 30 minutes to make something that the world agrees is right. Right. You know what I mean? And, and simplicity is key sometimes. It's not, not to be so complicated that we got to sit down and figure it out like a riddle. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it could be something that just feels organic. Like, go shorty, it's your birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like it ain't classics. No, these are things that, that they don't really go away. Someone's saying it every day to someone, you know, new. And I, I look, I, I still enjoy what happens when it's done right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's changing to the point we meet the artist before the label does like you know so you got a lot of artists will stay in the independent pocket longer because mm -hmm. they'll feel the, the, the song working and be like yo I'm, I'm getting booked shows anyway so I'm not going to do the deal for nothing if I'm getting all this kind of money, money anyway. anyway you right. know I got I, speaking of independent but I've seen a lot more artists doing the independent route with right. stuff do, do you encourage that yeah yeah hell yeah like now in this climate because you can reach millions of people by from your telephone your YouTube yeah, if your true. telephone shooting HD footage, yep. we got the in-studio performance tonight. Or you got to just take the in-studio yeah, performance, performance post it. If you got that standing at the table, Will Rock. 
Oh, man, hey, Rico Richie, Rico Richie, 50 Richie, looking boy. for you right now, yeah, bro. Yeah, like 50 that. looking for you. Are you looking for any uh, new artists to sign? Yeah, well, I'm working on with everybody new that I that come across that I feel like has something. Okay. You know, I'll become that for them, that launching pad that allows me to keep being a part of the culture in that way, where I can keep and get them up to the right point. with. Because I there's no platform I can't actually get my hands on at this point. Like, you see it? I got the largest television show on the stars nowhere. What you thought? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, power. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. We got 50 Cent in the building right now. DJ Nasty. Yeah, DJ Nasty. And it's the takeover right now. No, we're not done. We go till midnight, midnight now. Midnight, baby. Midnight. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more with 50 Cent, man. Always felt like my number one for hip hop and R and B, DJ Nails, DJ Nasty, it's them boys right here with Fifty Cent. Fifty, I mean, I know you venture off in a lot of stuff. Do you ever feel yourself like backpedaling, drawing out of hip hop because of some of your business ventures? You know, I do because it, it takes time for me to set up a whole new avenue. Of, mm -hmm. You know, like I'm diversifying, so it, it doesn't allow me to go away when you just say I don't like the last record you made. So you didn't like the last record I made? I'm getting six million dollars an episode. On the Stars Network, uh -huh. so you'll sit there and go, "Okay, he's still popping." Yeah, and I really, Regardless of, you know, like because and, and the audience is real fickle. You got youth culture connected to hip hop; they you got a low attention span, so it's yeah. here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they don't hear somebody say this is the joint, they're not sure that it's really the, popping. Like, like right. Like, right now, somebody out there listening, hear me say that they're gonna say the Rigo joint is fire. Right. Just because you said it. Right. Like the it's confirmation that yeah. it's, it's right. But if music is good music. That's all we should really care about. At that point, like, when you're financially stable. True. Yeah, and 50 Cent is true yeah, so financially then, then stable. Then all you should really be caring about is what, whether it's good or not. True. So let's talk about the TV show Power. I, I know it was. All, I've been seeing stuff on the internet about Power and um. Uh, I was about to say Empire. Entourage. Yeah. Empire. I was yeah. about to say Entourage, but Empire. Like, what? What? What's the situation going on through there? Like, well, I've seen a lot of stuff on the on the gossip sites, but I don't really dive into that. Yeah, for, it's very rare that, that uh, television programming. And marketing teams hit hit their target audience on the bullseye. It happened with Power the first season. Okay. And then Empire coming with interest of that that audience. The marketing team over at, at Fox decided to use some of the similar you know art and some of the similar stuff in the marketing campaign. Uh -huh. But like I said, that they copied because they did copy the art. Right. But I do like to see that the, the Empire is a success because Terrence Howard was in my first film. Mm -hmm. Timbaland is the music supervisor. He's my partner in SMS Audio. Uh, Brian Grazer is my partner on an animated television show. So I got connections to the people involved in the show that are benefiting from its success. But, you know, I look at it, I, I think, you know, you know how I get. I'm going to tell you the truth, how I feel. <laughs> I feel like my show is better. We do know that. You know what I'm saying? We do know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you, I, I feel like my show is better. I mean, it's, I'm glad that your show is good and that it's there and people are watching it. Especially my... after last week's episode. You know, you know where I'm going with yeah. that. Right? <laughs> yeah, especially after last week's episode. Did they end up getting, like, suing somebody because of that? I saw Instagram with the, posts. Oh, with, with, yeah, with the, uh, with the... With the, with the chest with thing. La -la. Yeah. No, I got, I got a call from La... And saying that the people from uh, Boss Up reached out to her. Oh. And I was like, wow, like, like how did they know how to reach out to you? You know what I'm saying? But they reached out to her however they could. They got to her. And Shout out to Boss Up, though. It was like, yo, if you, is there any way you can get in contact with 50? Because, you know, once it get funny like that, yeah. you turn the phone on. Oh. <laughs> you go. Don't call me about nothing. Don't call me about nothing. What you get? Because the network got an army of attorneys that's sitting there that don't have nothing to do but sue you. And, and we do know that. Listen, 50 Cent. 50 Cent in here kicking it with us right now. DJ Nails. DJ Nails. Them boys on 99 Jams. Jams. What up? For hip hop and RB, DJ Nails. DJ Nails. It's them boys live on the radio right now with our special guest right now, 50, 50 Cent. Cent. Oh, is that is that something you not trying to touch? Because you say you're doing an animated cartoon, you got liquor, you got a TV show, you rap, you act. Like, is that something? You, you got a line of condoms you trying to drop or something sometimes? No, I did have magic stick condoms. I'll tell you what's really... I was trying to attach myself to the Safe Sex campaign. Uh-oh, here we go. The <laughs> BET was doing it at the time. Because it was running like every hour, one hour. And there'd be a way for you to, to tie to it marketing-wise and do cooler things for it. At the time, I got a hit single called Magic Stick. Magic Stick. Shout out to Kim. So you want to do Magic Stick condoms at that point, it makes sense. And then we got to figure out a, a, a cooler way to say wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been saying that for so long, so long. and I feel like it's desensitized. And then people, you know, they hear it and then don't hear it. They get excited. She right there. They, they go, go. Go get it. <laughs> So is there anything you, you you're looking toward to like? Well, I know you don't want to kind of ruin a 
put an idea like you got a business venture that you want to do, but you're yeah. not. Well, I, I never talk about it until the ink drop. You know what I mean? Until the deal is done. Done. Because you'll blow the deal talking about it in advance. True. Right. True people enough. Start, they'll change their position saying, oh, well, people already know. Anything you interested in? A, a lot of, what, different categories that I, yeah. I look at? I mean, you and it's like it's like you in a semi driving down like five or six different lanes. Look, I got a little bit of money on Uber. Yeah, I made some money on on the Uber. Yeah, because I got in. Well, thank you. Actually doing things, <laughs> but I got something that's even cooler than that. It's for drivers. Okay. It's it's called Lux Valet. Okay. And that what sounds- it is is gonna be like your Uber, where you where you call, and you're just telling them to pick my car up where I want them to pick my car up at, and it'll send you the picture. The person that's gonna be standing there to pick your car up. Mm-hmm. When you get there, and you get there, and you give them the time to bring your car back, do that. And it also we just gotta prove to uh, to do um to be a designated driver. Oh, I when you do go out, I, you yeah, there's something for you. You know I need that. Yeah, <laughs> for you. you know I need that. <laughs> and before we let Fifty Cent out of here, we uh we got a new song with uh, Two Chains and Jeremiah. We're gonna play. Matter of fact, let's play that up next right here on Ninety Nine Jam. This is Cent. Yeah. 50 Cent featuring Jeremiah 2 Chains and T.I. Man is called Get Low. It's 99 Jams. Miami's number one for hip hop and RB DJ Nails. DJ Nash. And our guest at this time, 50, 50 Cent. Cent. Yo, 50, we appreciate you for stopping by. 50 been here all weekend long. Yes. Um, and, and, and happy birthday again, 50. Happy birthday again. I'm mean, here over here taking pictures with listeners. <laughs> 50! Hey yo, come in, man. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> Uh, so uh, 50 been in town all weekend long Tonight he at KOD KOD tonight baby Yeah real turned up man uh, 50 50 yeah, we, in town for the whole week Yeah we got We, got, we, got, we popping this weekend uh, 50 Cent joining them boys On the takeover 99 Jam Take 99 Jam Miami's number one For hip hop and R&B Everywhere you go Come on That's right Take it to the beat